Ooh, child, you in the Matrix. <laughs> Hey, you really have to call me. I've been sitting here for an hour and you're not showing up. So, call me. I'm gonna leave. Due to the graphic nature of this program, viewer discretion is advised. not to let you in, Miss Piper. I'm sorry. I'm just doing my job. <laughs> Ooh, just doing your job. Protecting Diamond City means keeping me out, is that it? <laughs> oh, look, it's the scary reporter. Ooh. I'm sorry, but Mayor McDonough's really steamed, Piper. Saying that article you wrote was all lies. The whole city's in a tizzy. Ah! You open this gate right now, Danny Sullivan. I live here. You can't just... Lock me out! Damn it, Danny, open up! You. You want into Diamond City, right? I just got here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What, what's that? You said you're a trader from Quincy? You have enough supplies to keep the general store stocked for a whole month? <laughs> you hear that, Danny? You gonna open the gate and let us in, or are you gonna be the one talking to Crazy Myrna about losing out on all the supply? Jeez, all right. I need to make it personal, Piper. Give me a minute. Better head inside quickly.
If you have any doubts or questions, don't sign the release without first consulting a competent personal injury attorney. After all, just because it wasn't your fault doesn't mean there's no fault. Phone Turk and Agena, Attorneys at Law, for a free consultation. City material. Welcome to the great green jewel of the Commonwealth. Safe, happy, a fine place to come. And your money. Settle down. Don't let this muckraker here tell you otherwise, all right? What are you two arguing about anyway? What do you think? Print lies and everybody's happy. Print the truth. <laughs> now, was there anything particular you came to our city for? I'm trying to find someone. Trying to find someone? <laughs> Who? Who would I talk to you about finding a missing person? Well, whatever you do, don't bother going to the Diamond City Security for help. Uh, don't listen to her. Well, I'm afraid that our security team can't follow everything that comes through. I'm confident that you can find help here. Diamond City has every conceivable service known to man. One of our great citizens can surely find the time to help you. A mayor of a great city must know everyone. Who can help me? Well, uh, uh, one private citizen, Nick Valentine, a detective. Who specializes in tracking people down, usually for debts or whatnot. No, I have to get going. I'm sorry, Diamond City Security doesn't have time to help, but I'm sure Mr. Valentine charges a reasonable fee. This is ridiculous. I want the truth, McDonough. What's the real reason security always shrivels away when talk of this in person? I've had enough of this, Piper. From now on, consider you and that little sister of yours on notice. Yeah, keep talking, McDonough. That's all you're good for. <laughs> I'm impressed. Not everyone can claw information out of McDonough's tight-fisted hands. Hmm. Why don't you stop by my office after you see Valentine? I think I just found my next story. New mission objective received. You're Sullivan, right? So, you're that traitor Piper was talking about. Something tells me she's pulled the wool over my eyes again. Right? I didn't mean to lie, officer. It all just happened so fast. Uh, you're not the first one Piper pulled into a heap of trouble they weren't ready for. Thanks for being honest. If it were up to me, we would have just let the both of you in. The mayor's calling the shots, and you saw how mad he is. Anyway, welcome to Diamond City and all that. 